I'm Chanel Greco from Sir Paris, and in this video, I'll show you everything you need to know about labels in Gmail. In this video, we will be covering seven topics. We're going to start out by learning how we can create labels, then edit them and delete them if we do not longer need them. Then I'll show you how you can show or hide labels in the menu list if your Gmail account. Um, I'll show you how to apply labels to messages, move labels or excuse me, move messages to a label. And then finally, how you can create a filter and automatically label emails as they come into your account. So I'm here in Jane Examples Gmail account. Just to let you know, this is a Gmail account, like you might be having one too, but this is based on a Google Workspace domain. So this is a professional tool used here at Separis and at many other companies for us to work. So uh, the consumer version of Gmail is pretty much the same, but it might be that one or two things do not work as expected in your free consumer version, because I said, this is a Google Workspace account. Okay, so we have three different ways how we can create a new label. Uh, the first would be by simply clicking here on more and then saying create new label, label one, that's what I'm going to call it. And by the way, see how you can nest a label. So I could say, yeah, I want to nest that label beneath an already existing label. Let's say beneath the current project label. I could go ahead and add that like so. Okay, another way to create a new label is by selecting this message, this email, and let's say I want to add the label to, and obviously that does not exist. So as soon as I type in a label name that it doesn't know yet, I can say create new. Um, I'm not going to list that. I'm just going to leave it like so. And then the third way would be heading over to the see all settings. Then there's a labels tab and here I could create a new label. It's called that label three for the three separate ways. And again, I'm presented with the option of nesting that. Okay, so that's how we create labels. Um, if you're wondering what the maximum amount of labels is you can have in Gmail, it's currently 500. Mind blowing. I don't know what I would do with so many labels, but that's the maximum that you can have in any given Gmail account. How do we edit labels? Well, since I'm already here in the settings page, why don't I um, edit my label from here? So let's say I wanted to change something about the label too. I could just click directly in here and rename this or click on edit. Um, from here, I could also nest it. Now I'm going to do something pretty cool. Um, this is a, a trick I picked up from a fellow uh, workspace star. Um, I'm going to add this like so, I don't know, here, label two, add an emoji. So this is just the emoji keyboard from my Mac. Uh, there you go, gonna add this like so. Now you see this here and you see it up here as well. Okay, so um, I'm gonna leave the settings just by clicking on inbox and show you the other options you have to edit the label. Let's say here, label one, I want to rename that. I click on the three dots. I say edit, label one, edit, there you go. And another way is when you're applying a label. So I'm gonna click on this, apply, I'm just gonna start typing label and then let's say label three. Uh, I click on it like so and I just simply applied it. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's try it again. Here you go, manage labels. That's what I was looking for. So don't start typing the way I did, but instead just click on it once, be patient and manage labels will appear and it will bring you back to the settings where we were before. Um, so on the labels tab and there you go, label two, label three, which I can then go ahead and I don't know, just edit, um, maybe nest it, nest it under something under current project, et voila. Now we change that as well. Let's say you've added your 500 labels and now you wanna delete a couple because things are getting a little bit chaotic. In that case, you could on the left again, just click on those three dots and say, uh, let me take one that's empty. Here you go, uh, remove label. Uh, you wanna delete the label? Should I? 
What happens to the emails that have that label? Or will they be deleted? What do you think? Leave a comment below. Should I tell you? I will. Okay, so it won't be deleted. Why? Why won't the emails that have that label be deleted? Well, I will be releasing a video um, where I dive deep into labels, explanations, also tying into the, the subject of folders, what a lot of people think labels actually are, and I will explain you how the mechanism works. So today is how do you use it, and the next video is going to be the mechanism. So anyway, we've deleted or we've removed that label. Uh, there's another way to do that as well. Um, again, if I have this selected, I can click here on labels and then say manage labels, and I'm brought to the settings to so the labels um, over here let me um, just I don't know delete this one here remove are you sure yes go ahead perfect so that's how you can delete labels I'm gonna head back to the inbox next we're gonna see how we can show or hide our labels so for that we're gonna head over to the settings Again, we're gonna access the labels tab and let's have a look at the, one of the labels we just created together, label two here. Um, it's visible here. Look what happens when I say hide. Boom, it disappears. So the label is still applied to the messages. If I applied it to any messages, I can't remember now, but it's just not visible in my menu on the left. Um, if I want it to reappear, I just click on show. And if you have a look at the labels here at the beginning um, of our tab, then you see like the inbox, you can't show or hide, that's a system label. Uh, but you could, let's say the start, uh, you could hide those if you say, I don't work with the start label. So just go ahead and hide any of the system labels that are visible um, and that might be distracting you. Once you've created all the labels, how do you actually apply them to the messages? Um, also here, the Google way, there's a couple of different ways to do this. Uh, one would be by simply, let's say, selecting this label or selecting this message, clicking on labels, and then add in one, um, let's say, current project, apply. There you go. Uh, how about this? Right click on a message and then label as, Let's say digital strategy, apply. And another one would be, uh, let's say I'm going to, uh, I don't know, open up any random, let's do this one. We're gonna open up this message. And then again here, the controls appear to add a label. I'm gonna add this one. So this you see is a nested label. So I'm actually adding it uh, or adding the budget label to it. So let's go ahead and apply that like so. Uh, and maybe a bonus tip, let me just go back to the inbox. I'm gonna write a new message to, I don't know, Adam, labels. And how about we add a label for an outgoing message so that that is already labeled as well. There you go, and let's send that out. In the meantime, Adam replied to our message, and here you go the labels, so you see how the incoming message now has that label. Um, so that's um, why you might want to use labels for outgoing messages. How about now if I want to apply a different label to this message? So it has a digital business strategy label. Um, if I say, uh, let's say, I don't know, current project, I can select this, um, untick this, apply, and there you go. Um, another way also to change the label, maybe I don't want the current project label anymore, I simply click on the X like so. And just uh, as a refresher, you remember that um, you can also access the label from here. So let's say labels like so with a right click and then say, okay, I don't want this label anymore, but instead let's say the newsletter and apply. That's how you would do that. So far we've seen how we can add a label to any given message, but how about if we want to add a label and then make it disappear from our inbox? Well, we can do that too. Um, let's do it with this mail here. We're going to select it, and then instead of just apply a label, we're going to say move to a specific label. Let's move it to label number two, 
and it's gone. And if we have a look at label number two, it should be here somewhere. Yeah, this message here. How about we create a filter that automatically adds a label to all of the mails, all of the messages we, we receive from Adam. So I'm gonna select this, click on the three dots and say filter messages like these. Um, so from Jame example, um, no, that's actually not what I wanted. Um, I want from Adam, that makes more sense. Yeah, from Adam. Um, and then we're gonna say uh, create filter and we're going to apply a specific label. Let's say he's gonna get the label two. Okay, so um, let's do that. When we're creating a new filter, this is always an interesting option. Also apply filter to two matching conversations. Um, let's say I have 50 emails from um, Adam and um, I want all of the new emails to receive the label too, but I might also want the 50 already existing messages to also receive that, lead, um, that label. So instead of having to apply that label manually, um, when creating the filter, I could say, you know what, apply it to all of the 50 or how many uh, messages I have from Adams. So let's go ahead and create that filter. So we see um, it should have been added to these here. There you go. It just refresh now. Label two was added here and here as well. And any new incoming message from Adam would automatically receive that label too. I want to share one last bonus tip with you, and that is how you can use labels to search in Gmail. So um, I'm going to use, or going to click in the search field here. I'm going to start typing label, and it auto suggests you want to search for label two. Yeah, go ahead. So there you go. Now I see all of the messages that somehow have that label two on it, and it's the equivalent of clicking here on this specific label because this kind of like acts as a filter. Um, why don't you go ahead and check out my other videos about Google Apps Script, about Gmail, and so on and so forth. And also make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below because I publish new video tutorials about Gmail, Google Drive, Google Apps Script, and I don't want you to miss out on any of those videos.